Medical technology used to learn things from plants and animals. Then they started with retroviruses and nanorobots, and now, what's the future of medical technology? It's worm ooze. Hey worm handlers, how are ya? I'm Trace, thanks a lot for watching DNews today. Okay, it's not worm ooze, it's better than that. Right now, if surgeons need to close a slice that they open in the human body, they often have to use sutures. They're literally sewing the flesh together like cloth. The medical community knows it would be better to use adhesives, but there are only a few options which can secure tissue safely in the wet environment of the inner human. Scientists have been studying various adhesives for a while, looking to nature's sticky friends. Slug ooze sticks to wet surfaces, insects walk on walls and upside down. Both are being explored for their natural glue-making abilities with the hope of leaving sutures in the dust. Enter the sandcastle worm. This gross little fellow lives in the waters off the coast of California and uses its natural processes to help build reefs. The hairs on its head pull little bits down toward the tip of the worm. Then the worm decides if it has found the next piece of its reef building puzzle. And if so, it sticks a couple of dots of protein adhesive onto the piece and 30 seconds later, bam, secure waterproof adhesion. Easy peasy. The key is PGSA, the scientific term for the proteins the worm excretes. In the wild, it sets in 30 seconds, but used on the operating table with a blast of UV light, the adhesive sets in a mere five seconds. Medical researchers from the Boston Children's Hospital where it's being tested found it's stronger than the other leading adhesive, even in what they call a high dynamic environment, AKA a beating heart that's full of blood and other crazy fluids. At the moment, they haven't been able to synthesize the adhesive, so researchers are more accurately, probably research assistants, go out to the coast and collect as many of the worms as they can. Once back in the lab, they give them a little massage, causing them to squeeze out their sticky stuff. The two best parts about this for me are the researchers say it could really help fragile babies who need open heart surgery, but also it's biocompatible and biodegradable. So after the surgery is healed, the glue disappears into the body. No worries, the kids get to be normal little kitties. This gives a whole new meaning to heartworms or worms for Broken hearts or broken worm fixing heartworms. What do you think of this? Would you want to fix yourself with worm glue? Stick a comment down below, subscribe, and thanks a lot for checking out D News.